Hello and howdy to everybody out there in YouTube land. If y'all saw my video on my Marshall DSL 40C, um, I told you about that I was gonna, I bought some Ernie Ball casters. I got these Ernie Ball casters here and I've got them put on. I just have a, make a quick video uh, showing you some tips about putting them on because I thought it was gonna be something simple and with this, maybe with some amps, it would be simple. Maybe a, like a larger cabinet or something. But with this, with this Marshall here, this combo amp, it wasn't quite as simple as I thought because of the braces on the inside. Let me just show you. First thing you want to do is you take your back off, which I've already got it done because I've finished doing it already. And then on the inside here, so you got all these different, all these braces there that hold the back on, which takes up a lot of space from the edge. And then you got this brace in here. So instead of just being able to drill a hole in the bottom and stick them on the corners where they needed to be, I had to come in here and measure with a measuring tape and get it as close as I could to there, to the corner there. And I wanted to get it as close as I could up to the, the front of the speaker grill here. So I had to measure all that. And then you had to watch out where the screws go. Because I got some of the screws into the part here that holds the speaker grill on. But I wanted them to be, you know, as far as far as possible. I didn't want them to be too narrow, too close together like this. I actually wanted them, hopefully I could get them on the corners, but... Like I say, that's not possible with these, with the pop-ins, because you have to have, had to drill a big old 5 8 inch hole to get that centerpiece through where the wheel goes in, or whatever, and anyway, as long as you measure everything and, and make sure you're not hitting anything, it just took some time getting the holes big enough. It's a 5 8 hole, and I didn't even have a 5 8 drill bit. So I had to use several different drill bits to get it through. But these are the pop-out kind. And those screws, these screws here are pretty big. And one thing else I had to do, just to notice on the front of the amp here, where the grill was, it left me with plenty of room to get it in here where this corner is. But on the back, when I got it on... When I got to go put this on, it was hitting hitting this right here. So if you look, real good right there. We're getting to focus. Oh, come on, man. Focus. Focus! All right, anyway, you can see I had to cut that. I trimmed that plastic off right there, which was pretty easy. I just did it with an X-Acto knife. Trimmed that off there on that one. And I had to do the same thing on the bottom down here. There we go. You can see it right there. It's in focus good. You can see where I had to cut it to make it fit. But I got it fit in there real nice finally. And these just pop in like that. And you want to always make sure you have a handy shop vac when you do it. Because a lot of, get a lot of sawdust in there. I had sawdust in my speaker. All down here in the corner, everywhere, all over here. I just got done wiping down my tubes because there was sawdust in there. So anyway, that's a short video on how to put in your casters on your amp. So if you like my videos, what I'm doing, I'm doing a lot of playing videos and I'm doing some, some demos of instructional stuff like that or what i know <laughs> but anyway if you liked it subscribe and thanks for watching